guys, as you guys can tell, we are doing another organizational video. If you guys haven't seen part one of my kitchen organization, you guys need to go watch that before you guys watch this video because you'll see the before and afters. But either way, I spent way too much money on kitchen organization and appliances, and I'll link everything down below for you guys. I'm not gonna calculate the cost, but I do know I spent four figures on all this organizational stuff. I also bought a lot of groceries because I'm gonna do a full on kitchen and pantry reorganization. It's been a few years since I've done this and I wanna put together a cute little snack drawer, a cute little pantry and a cute little fridge. So if you guys love these types of videos and you guys are not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, let's get started with the organization. Okay, so this is everything new that I purchased to organize my kitchen and fridge. I still have a bunch more stuff that I've already had for like the last few years. So I'm gonna be still using those items as well, but I just wanted to stick with acrylic and bamboo and glass. So that's pretty much the vibe of everything. This morning I spent about $200 on groceries for staples around the house and groceries that I've been wanting. So we're gonna organize all this stuff as well. So I might as well show you guys how gross this fridge is looking. Um, these are all the groceries I bought this morning, which is why they're still in a bag, because I do want to organize that stuff. But yeah, this is the current state of it. Oh, cannot wait to give you guys a before and after of this because it is looking pretty bad. Definitely need to clean all of these drawers out. Um, hopefully nothing is moldy in there. I don't think so, which is great. We got lots of beer in here that never gets drinking. That never gets drunk, drank, drinking. Wow. Your girl graduates UCLA and still doesn't know how to speak properly. Anywho, this is the state of everything else. We got some in and out ketchup, beautiful. Some opened wine that's been in there for months and Oatly. And then the freezer is a whole other monster. Um, Matt has spilled coffee beans that's ground up all over the freezer. And this guy is filled with random stuff. Don't know why Matt bought that, but he did. And it's taken up so much space. So we are gonna clean the fridge first. I have been so excited for this guy because we have a lot of gross food in here. So I feel like it's gonna be the most satisfying out of everything I clean because I have so many little like packages and so many little jars for this fridge. But also I bought a steamer. I bought the Bissell Power Shot everyone's been talking about on TikTok and I want to use the crap out of it and it makes me so happy that I have it. So we're gonna use it. So yeah, let's just start cleaning out the fridge. is officially emptied we have some little gross spots over here oh my gosh i have the hiccups right now but i feel like the cleaning is not too too bad like matt and i are pretty good about keeping this clean not too bad for not being cleaned in a minute i am so excited for this because i'm gonna use the bissell steam shot deluxe watched so many tiktoks on it i'm currently reading the manual i don't want to fuck it up so we're gonna read this through and through front to back left to right side to side <laughs> Um, and I am gonna use this guy. Best $50 I've ever spent. All right, I have my water. Also last night, I went to dinner with my friends. <gasps> Shoot, that's why I can't multitask. I cannot multitask to save my life. Last night I went to dinner with my friends. We went to Kazu Nori, which is like a sushi hand roll spot that's pretty famous out in LA. And I have been having the worst blow ever. I'm so uncomfortable. <gasps> This is very bloated for me, but it feels way better than it did yesterday, but I feel like I'm not like 100% here right now. All right, while I'm waiting for the Bissell steam cleaner to heat up, I am actually ashamed of how much food I just took out of the fridge. <gasps> There's so much food. 
literally food 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 and then alcohol of course i don't want any of this food to go bad so i'm gonna try to clean the fridge as fast as possible so we gotta work fast okay oh it's working pieces of food that just like stay on your counters. I had a teriyaki sauce that was so sticky, stuck to that last thing, and it just came out so easily. Pretty good. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, here is a close up of all the dirty spots in here. Cause I know it's kind of hard to see with all the steam coming out. Yes, gross. I am so embarrassed to show you guys this, but I have a dead cricket. Like, how does that happen? How did the cricket even get in here? That is so disgusting. Yes, it's a cricket because we have crickets outside 24 seven. They're gross, they're annoying. I know crickets give you good luck if they go inside your house, but I do not need luck if they're gonna die in my fridge. Anyways, I have literally taken apart my entire fridge and it makes me very happy because I did not know I could do this. All right guys, after cleaning my fridge for the last two hours, we have officially cleaned it. It's looking pretty good, look at that. It is beautiful in here. Um, we steamed everything. Everything is nice and sanitized. I washed and scrubbed the crap out of all of the drawers and we're gonna put it back in the fridge. A little nervous for this because I barely was able to take it out and putting it in I feel like is a little bit harder, but I figured this would be the perfect time to share with you guys that today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you guys haven't heard me talk about BetterHelp before, BetterHelp is the largest online therapy service where you can get access to 30,000 licensed individuals that can help you with all of the mental health issues you guys are struggling with. Just like I'm struggling with putting this back inside my fridge. Oh, I think I have it. I got it. <laughs> my favorite thing about the service is that you can chat over FaceTime or Zoom or you can text them or call them. And I just find that super convenient, especially if you have a busy schedule. Honestly, I'm not busy. I'm just lazy, which is totally fine. So far, we're good with making sure everything gets back in the fridge. I feel like through therapy, I've worked on so many things about myself, like my hoarding tendencies, my scarcity mindset. But I've actually noticed recently that I have been doing really well when it comes to being grateful and having an abundance mindset. Like I have said no to so many brand deals this year and typically I would just say yes to them because I'm scared that because I have a nice beautiful house, if I don't take all these brand deals, I'm gonna regret it in the future. And I feel like that's such an unhealthy way to think about money, especially if you work for yourself, like I do. Also, another concern I've heard you guys talk about as well is the fact that maybe you don't like your therapist. And with better help, the coolest thing I think by far is that it is so freaking easy to just get to another therapist if you don't like them. You don't have to be married to your therapist. You actually don't have to be married to anyone. You can just divorce them. And it is incredible. So yeah, if you guys want to try BetterHelp and get 10% off your first month, you can use betterhelp.com slash mistypmom. That's betterhelp.com. I'm almost done putting all of the trays back into this area. I'm like so proud of myself because I really thought I was gonna struggle with figuring out how to put everything back in. Oh, that's nice. All of the cubbies are exactly where they need to be. Look how beautiful. The food is gonna go bad if I don't hurry up and do this. So we're gonna try to sort all this out as fast as we can. All right, I have a garbage bag. And I'm gonna start throwing stuff away that doesn't belong. Why did I just get really tired all of a sudden? Um, Lemon curd. Oh, that's already expired. This expires in like a week. Mmm, that smells really good. I should try this. This is the Thai style bread curry sauce from Trader Joe's. I've yet to use it, but it smells delicious. Cheese dip. 
don't know how old that is. April 23rd. Okay, that is expired. I... 2022. I've been using this mayo and apparently it is expired, but I feel like it tasted great when I used it last week. So I don't know if I'm gonna throw that away. I'm so gross. I don't think I'm gonna throw it away. Onion, old beef breath. I think what I'm gonna do is in the meantime, I'm gonna actually put everything back in the fridge because things are starting to feel a little not cold and I'm really worried that our meat is gonna go bad. So I'm gonna start sticking things back in the fridge and then I'm gonna start de-jarring everything because that's what I really wanna do. That's what I really wanna do. I just cleared out everything that needs to go back in the fridge like right now. And this is kind of everything I am throwing out. Honestly, not too shabby. Like might be 12, 15 pounds maybe. It feels like heavy. It feels like Zoe, which she's 17 pounds, but a lot of it is like the glass jars or containers. So I bought these cute jars from Amazon. I've showed you guys them and we're gonna start filling up the jars with all these like olives. And I know this is so unnecessary, but I love aesthetic things. And if it's gonna look pretty in my fridge, it's gonna make me really freaking happy. And if I'm happy, the world is happy and it's not hurting anyone. If anything, it's making corporations money because I'm spending my money. So I'm gonna label these jars with these cute little labels I made. I use the Dymo label maker, I'll link it below, but this thing is amazing. Also, I find it so aesthetic. I love the aesthetic of this guy. It just has this old school vibe to it and I'm just gonna label all the jars in the fridge this way because it is waterproof and they don't peel off unless you really try to peel it off on purpose. Hello guys, it is day two of us doing this. I spent all night last night canning or de-jarring all of these like pickles and berries. And let me tell you guys, I never realized how long it would take for me to get fruit dry, but I spent 
hours last night washing veggies and drying them but everything is looking really freaking good i know it's stupid of me to de-jar pickles when they're already in jars but i just want everything to look aesthetic and for those of you guys who are wondering how i'm gonna know when i should start throwing away like these jars and stuff i did buy these cute little like stickers from amazon they are these best buy stickers i don't know if you can see and you just write on sharpie with them and you just stick it to the actual jars. They're um, waterproof, also easily removable. I already tried it, so these are great. I believe this is like $8 for a set of 300 or something like that, so they're gonna last me for a minute, and it's gonna make sure I don't eat old moldy food. <laughs> it is time to put stuff in the fridge. I bought this drink organizer. It barely fits in here, so it's gonna look a little big, but I got such a good deal on this. I was looking at other ones. I've seen Remy talk about this for a while, but the ones she has are like $70 a piece. This for all five pieces was like $50. So I was like, I don't care if it fits correctly. We're gonna put it in. It comes with a little 3M sticker so that it actually stays in place. All right. Okay, I think that's good enough. I just finished the fridge. It looks beautiful. So it took me so much to plan this fridge and to figure out what I needed for this fridge. So I did a lot of planning. So if your guys' fridge looks anything like mine, I'll have all the organizers I use down below. As you guys can see, this juts out a few inches, but it's stuck down properly behind so it won't flip up. And the weight of the drinks is kind of letting it stay stable. Um, Matt and I don't really drink the beers or anything, so there'll always be weight on this, so it'll never just topple over. It fits five drinks and then five drinks across. Then I have a Lazy Susan in here. We got our Cheddar Jack cheese, our Mexican blend cheese, our Parmesan cheese, and then any sauces, things like that. So this is where we're gonna put the jars of our leftovers. We have some leftover curry, leftover gnocchis, and this is going to be our extra jar. So every time we clean them, we're going to put it in here so that we know that you can use these jars as leftovers. I have a 24 egg holder right here. And every time I get new eggs, I'm going to put them behind and keep the oldest eggs in the front and maybe put a little star in front of it so we know it's the oldest eggs. This right here is making me so happy because I feel like now that I see all of my berries and fruits, I'm going to eat a lot more veggies. Already, I've been picking at these cherries. Every time I open this fridge, I've been eating the cherries. So we have zucchinis, broccoli, cherries, spinach, lemons and limes, small mini bell peppers. We have blueberries and raspberries, strawberries here. These little berry containers are so cute. It makes your fridge look a lot more fun than keeping it in the package. Also, I got these little organizers from Amazon as well. Down here, I have more dairy products. So if I ever buy slices of cheese, I think I'm just gonna put it in here as well. Um, Matt bought all of these egg whites from Costco. So we have a lot of these, but typically we don't always have these. So once these are gone, I actually have another container that looks exactly like this that I'm gonna put next to it and Matt and I normally eat a lot of cheese we love our sharp cheddar cheeses our breeze so I'm gonna put slices of cheese in these containers so back here we have all of our um, like in and out ketchups this is my favorite hot sauce this Louisiana rooster hot sauce so we have our condiments we have our chick-fil-a condiments because chick-fil-a always forgets to bring us them when I doordash we have extras just in case then we have our baby bell cheeses our laughing cow cheeses we got the garlic cheese and the regular right here we have our bread box I put the humidity too low so nothing goes bad and this is where we have our Costco croissants then we have a lot of naan. Matt and I love eating naan for everything. 
So these are my favorite, favorite nons ever. I get them from Thrive Market. These are the Atoria's Family Bakery. I have worked with Thrive Market before. Let me tell you guys, I'm always ordering from them because they have food that you just can't get anywhere else. Down here, I'm so happy we did this. Normally we keep our like beers and random drinks down here but this makes more sense to keep our meats in here i don't like putting meats on the top because i feel like the odor of the meat if it goes bad just emanates throughout the entire fridge also if it's like leaking or anything now it's contained so we got our costco barbacoa this is amazing um i bought a costco sized prosciutto and um charcuterie board we got chicken, bacon, turkey meat, hot dogs. This right here is kind of like our drinks side of the drawer. We got a lots of club soda because I want to start making Italian cream soda for myself. And what you need is club soda, half and half, and like some sort of syrup. Then I bought these little cute canisters or bottles for beer. But instead of putting beer in it, I put my sister's husband's famous teriyaki sauce he makes it homemade it is delicious every time i go to sacramento he like makes me a gallon size of it and so we have three bottles of it we have some simple syrup then matt and i or at least i love drinking or using these lemon juices matt and i love lemon and lime for all of our recipes but sometimes it gets expensive buying lemon juice and it goes bad or real lemons and so we've just been using these instead, or at least I have. Also right here is a canister. It's kind of like, it acts like baking soda, but this is kind of a more permanent version of baking soda. Supposedly this takes out bad odors from small spaces for up to 10 years. Um, it has like really cool technology in it. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I've only had it for a few days, so we'll see. Um, but I saw a lot of good reviews on Amazon for it, so I bought this. I'll link it below if you guys are interested as well. Then we got our expensive champagne. This is all the champagne we got for our engagement. Matt and I are slowly going through them whenever we have guests over. Then we have some Topo Chico hard seltzers. Matt and Andrew loves these. Every time Andrew is over, he drinks one of these. Then on this side... Ah, so aesthetic. We have all of our butters. Then we have our jars of pickles. My mom made this pepper paste that is delicious. I've been using it for years and I still have so much of it left. Always great in all of my Asian cooking. We got a giant jar of minced garlic, um, pepperoncinis, some buttered pickles, and giant olives. And then we have our almond milk, oatly, and then half and half for my Italian cream soda. Beautiful. All right, guys, I finished organizing everything like an hour ago, and then I decided to rearrange everything so it looks a lot more cohesive. I spent so much time on this, so I decided to take my ADD medication because I cannot focus. I'm like focusing on the wrong stuff right now, but I wanted to show you guys quickly what it looks like now. Um, Logan Paul, AKA Prime, just sent me more drinks. And so I saw that and I was like, I have to have these in here because Matt and I both love Prime. So we added them in here. So now this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I decided that this bread basket wasn't aesthetic enough. So I just added some of my Libby drinks. This is a cute, really small business, um, Asian owned brand. If you guys want to check out their, um, drinks, it is with alcohol, but they're really small and cute. And I really like the owner. So if you guys ever have the chance to check them out, I believe they're online only, but yeah, this is what it currently looks like. So aesthetic. Hello guys. If you hear a lot of grunting noises, it is currently Zoe eating her food like a freaking maniac right now. When she eats, it's insane. Also, if I have a lisp, it's because I need to start wearing my Invisalign more often. I have not been wearing my retainers and I have noticed my teeth are shifting, but either way, we are gonna start cleaning the freezer, which I'm not excited about because I realized I didn't buy anything for the freezer, but we're still gonna try to organize it to make it look pretty because it's not looking very pretty. So you guys saw the before earlier, but I figured I would show you guys one more time what it kind of looks like. So yeah, this is the state of the fridge and hopefully we can find a cute way to organize everything. This 
this took me a minute, but I was able to clean the inside of the freezer. These drawers were able to come off, but these drawers were not able to come off, even though I unscrewed everything. But it's fine. It still looks perfect. And now I'm going to try to figure out how to make my freezer look aesthetic when I don't have anything to really make it look aesthetic. But we're going to figure it out. Okay guys, after a few hours of doing this, I am dead tired. I feel like an old woman. I cannot be on my knees or on my feet for like more than four hours a day. But I clean the entire freezer and it actually looks pretty fucking decent. Even though I actually didn't buy anything specifically for the freezer, I found some leftover bins and storage that I was able to use in the freezer and it looks freaking good. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at my beautiful freezer. First freezer bin is all of the meats. We have either meats that are raw or meats that you can just throw in the oven and cook. So we have three giant sized ground beef then we have four giant sized chicken breasts these are about like a pound each maybe a little bit more then we have some fish fillets which i don't like these so i might throw these out but i'm gonna ask matt because i think matt does like them but i haven't seen him eat it in a minute we got some chicken bakes y'all costco chicken bakes are the best invention ever. I'm so happy I rediscovered these. Also, I'm very happy that I can eat bacon now. I used to not ever eat bacon. Now I eat bacon like crazy and this is amazing. We got pinko chicken breast. I have two layers of it. Um, I try to keep them as flat as possible. These are the Tyson chicken breasts. I personally do not eat these. I think they're kind of gross. Um, I just don't like breaded chicken, but Matt likes them, so we have them here. That's the first layer. Second layer is all of the fruits and veggies. We got peaches, mangoes, pineapples, bananas, mixed berries, strawberries, more strawberries, raspberries. We got coffee grounds, blueberries, garlic, more garlic. Then we have the sweets. Matt and I don't really eat desserts that belong in the fridge, but we do have a little bit of chocolate that we like to keep in the freezer. We have some sweet potato puffs that Matt and I have been wanting to eat for like years now. It's been in this fridge for at least like a year and a half, and if we don't eat this, we need to get rid of it. Um, then we have some egg bites, because I used to be obsessed with egg bites, and we have some bread. So these are kind of like the non-meat products. I am so happy with how this freezer turned out. You cannot tell me that this is not super aesthetic. Of course, it could be a little more, more aesthetic if these weren't in plastic bags, but I think being able to see them is better than not being able to see them. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I have the packed dates on here, so then I know to eat these first. All right, guys, that is it with today's video. You guys saw the before and after of my entire fridge. I am going to do a part three because I actually started editing this footage and it's already at 25 minutes. And that is not including the freezer stuff. So I'm going to do a part three of the kitchen organization. These videos are just super fun for me to film. And if you guys haven't already, go check out BetterHelp. Also, if you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below what is your favorite fruit. Very curious. I would say mine are raspberries and strawberries. But I hate when strawberries are sour and four to five times every time I eat a strawberry, it's sour and it makes me really pissed off. But I do really like strawberries. So what is your favorite? Oh, that's a lie. 
My favorite flute, flute, my favorite fruit is actually a plua, which is a half apricot, half plum. They're so good. The green ones, the dinosaur egg ones, so freaking yummy. If you guys ever have the chance to try them, they're in season in the fall. They're delicious. But that is it with today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like more organizational videos. Do I look like shit? Yes, but my skin looks really good. All right, I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.